Our job is to make a sell today. If we do not make a sell today, if I come in and, and work, and I'm, I'm a salesperson, and I work the entire day, and I do not make a sell today, what was the point in me coming in today? We, we go to bed tired and we wake up hungry. It all goes to zero at midnight. Success don't care what you did yesterday or last week. It only cares what you do today. And when you get in this mindset, I don't, it doesn't matter to me that we had the biggest month we've ever had in October. To me, it all went to zero every night. At the end of October 31st, November don't care what we did in October. So it's a mindset that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. Remember this, remember that's Newton's law. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. I believe that my gift is getting people to make a decision now, getting people to take action. I believe how you buy is how you sell. If you think about a lot of stuff when you buy, you're more likely, people are more likely to say that when you're selling. Remember this, selling is about initiating. People are busy, they're distracted, they don't answer the phone, they don't pay attention. You have to be relentless in how you present ideas to other people. I'm going to go through, and Cody, I want to get you to tell them what you're going to go through. I'm going to go through the four things I do every day to attack sales. Every day, doesn't matter if I'm in Florida, if I'm in the Bahamas, if I'm in Springfield, Missouri. Every day I wake up, there are four things I do to create new money. And the purpose of the business is to produce a customer, okay? So if, if you're not spending X number of hours per day, I think minimum of two hours on nothing but the production of new money, the creation of new money, and you're not prospecting for new money every day, in my opinion, you're not serious about growing your business. This takes a discipline. So tonight I'm going to break down four things I do every day to generate new money in my business. And I'm going to show you how to play offense versus defense. Cody, what are you going to talk about tonight? I love it, coach. Appreciate you guys being here. Super excited. Uh, I love doing stuff with coach, man. You know, um, you start getting around people like this and, and you start thinking differently. You start moving differently. You start, you know, you start, you start, you start dancing differently, singing differently. You know, it all starts, starts to come out differently, man. Um, I'm going to spend some time a little bit on uh, some of the things I do to kick off my day, you know, to put me in the right mental posture to, 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 to succeed throughout my day. I really believe if, if, if you win the morning, you've got a real good chance of winning the day. And, and I'm big on, um, I've been studying success people since I was probably 15, 16 years old. I've been studying this dude to, to, to my left on my screen, Coach Michael Burke, since uh, what, February of 2018. And um, I'm, I'm, I really believe that they, they have, and he's going to walk through them. They have systematic things they're doing every single day to succeed, right? They're not showing up and saying, well, what am I going to do today? Hopefully I succeed today. I want to make money today, but I don't know what to do, right? He knows what he's doing every single day. And, and I'm going to go through some of the things I'm doing to kick off my day from, from a discipline standpoint. I'm going to go through what we do in my office. Um, and, and from a training standpoint, I'm going to go through some of the things that coaches has taught me from an organizational standpoint um, and, and really focus on attacking a sales day because, 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 because you're right. If you're not attacking um, the, the, then guess what? You are retreating. You know, I really believe from, from a daily training, self-discipline, like improvement standpoint, if we're not moving forward, we're, 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 you know, if we're dro not driving revenue, we're, we're, we're going backwards, you know, like if we're, we're not staying stagnant, you know, like if we're not getting better, we are moving backwards. Um, and then um, I, I love how you mentioned, and, and I, I guess I stole this from you a few weeks ago, um, that the number one job of a business is to drive revenue every single day. Um, and I think it's so easy as an insurance agent, a business owner, et cetera, to like get caught up in um, all the day-to-day -day operations you know, and, and, and end up spending eight, nine, 10 hours a day. None of it spent on revenue producing activity, you know? And, and so I tell our salespeople, when we start every single day, our job is to make a sell today. If we do not make a sell today, if I come in and, and work and I'm, I'm a salesperson, and I work the entire day and I do not make a sell today. What was the point in me coming in today? Right. As long as I'm focused on attacking and driving revenue and making sales, it is absolutely going to happen. And uh, I was at your Monster Growth System boot camp a few weeks ago with, with the team. And that was, that was freaking incredible. And some of the stuff that you're going to be breaking down tonight, you're going to be breaking down even more in the future. And, and I'm telling you, a lot of the stuff he breaks down from a day, attacking a day standpoint, it's, it's freaking remarkable. And so make sure you pay attention, take some notes, because uh, this, dude, this dude knows his stuff, man.
Well, here, here's what I want to tell you. And, and just as you were talking, all this is based on mindsets. And, and one of the mindsets is we go to bed tired, we wake up hungry. It all goes to zero at midnight. And there comes a time when winter asks what you did all spring and summer. Okay, right now I'm coaching certain industries that are making more money than they can handle. Mortgage companies are making more money than they can handle, right? Because interest rates are low. There will come a time when those rates go up and people who have not prospected, who've gotten lazy, who've gotten complacent, there will come a time when winter asks what they did all spring and summer. Okay, and I was coaching people during the 08 recession and I was coaching home builders that were depressed going bankrupt, losing everything they had. And it taught me a valuable lesson, folks. We, we go to bed tired and we wake up hungry. It all goes to zero at midnight. Success don't care what you did yesterday or last week. It only cares what you do today. And when you get in this mindset, I don't, it doesn't matter to me that we had the biggest month we've ever had in October. To me, it all went to zero every night. At the end of October 31st, November don't care what we did in October. So it's a mindset that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. Remember this, remember that's Newton's law. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. If I want to sell Cody Askin something, it all starts by an, me initiating a conversation and presenting an idea to Cody Askins. All I can do is say yes or no, or I'm interested or I'm not interested. But just remember this, money changes hands when problems are solved. The bigger the problem, the more money people will pay to solve that problem. So, but here's the deal. I don't know when I'm looking at these 124 participants on here, I don't know what um, Alexandra's problem is or Adrian's problem is until I initiate the conversation. So just remember when I'm selling every day, what I'm doing is I'm initiating, I'm disarming, I'm locating a problem, and I'm offering a compelling solution, okay? No matter who I'm talking to, okay? I'm gonna initiate a phone call. Outbound effort, outbound effort. I'm not waiting, I'm not sitting, I'm not in a static position, I'm active, I'm initiating. This morning I'm in Florida, so I went out for a walk, it's beautiful here. From seven to eight, guess what? I'm on the phone, man. I'm initiating, I'm calling people, I'm initiating ideas. Hey, I noticed you hadn't signed that contract yet. Hey, I noticed you're interested in this. Hey, I noticed you haven't taken action on this. Hey, I'd like to present an idea to you. Hey, are, would you be interested in this if I could solve this problem? Like before eight o'clock, I've already called more people than most people call in a day. I'm initiating. Some people I'm videoing. Hey, I missed you, I didn't get you on video. Hey, I'm, I'm right? Like, so remember this, selling is about initiating. People are busy, they're distracted, they don't answer the phone, they don't pay attention. You have to be relentless in how you present ideas to other people, okay? So I call one and I don't get them. Then I text message them, then I voice text them, then I video text them, then I send them a video, it's pre-recorded. And I'm just working that system, man. So when I come into the day, I'm not gonna get into what I do in the morning because Cody's gonna cover that. But by eight o'clock, just know, I have activated my prey drive in my body physically, in my mind, mentally, in my heart, that's emotionally, and in my spirit, spiritually. Mm. When I show up at eight o'clock, man, I've already ran circles around a lot of people. On my way in, I'm not listening to music. I've already got my music in. I've already listened to my things. I'm already ready. I don't need a cup of coffee. I'm attacking. And a cheetah, many years ago, I wrote the book Zebras and Cheetahs. And I studied cheetahs. Cheetahs are relentless, man. They have a 60% close ratio. A cheetah sees it, right? Sees it, stalks it, pursues it. And man, it knows what it wants. It does not mess around. When it sees something it wants, it locks in on it and it sees it through to its conclusion. And that is what a great salesperson does. Like I have an idea. I want to present that idea to you and I'm going to attack it. And if you don't want it, it's okay. I'm going to go to somebody else, okay? So what do we do every day? All right, I have, I created something called the legacy selling system many years ago because I was a basketball coach and we had plays and Cody, you were a basketball player, right? Yes, sir. And I had plays. I charted the plays. And if you ever watch a football coach, football coach comes into the game with a, with a little sheet of paper and it has all their plays on it. And they run those plays based on, okay, if they run this defense, we run this play. They do this, we do this. And so I had all these plays. I would come into the game and the plays were scripted. If they play zone, we run this play. If they play man, we do this. If they play matchup, we do this. If they trap, we do this. 
And I would go through the plays. And if they worked, I would chart those plays and keep working those plays. Right. And, and, and so I would always work, run the plays that work. So I would go in at halftime. I'd say, which plays worked? And my assistant would say this one, this one, and this one. I go, okay, let's go back to those. Which ones didn't work? Those, boom, throw them out. So I retire at 31 years old from athletic coaching and I start my business. And I'm like, man, I'm on defense. I'm on defense. Like I don't have any plays. Like I need tactics and strategies. So I begin working on what would become the legacy selling system. And Cody just went through my boot camp on this called the monster growth system. But it's really a prospecting system. You know, and it's how do you circulate and attack. So there's four groups I got every day I'm going after, right? Number one, when I come in every day, I got a hit list. And a hit list represents new money, okay? Any activity that I have that can produce new money would fall under my hit list, okay? Now, I go to find new money in four places, okay? And I'm very pragmatic, Number one, I go to my current clients, okay? And what I do is I have a lot of products, right? I got a publishing division. I got this division. I do retreats. I do boot camps. I speak. And I come into the day and I go, who can I help with my services? Oh, Rebecca Davis wants to write a book. You know what? She, I need to call her about my publishing division, okay? Oh, Cody Askins needs this. I need to call Cody and see if he'd be interested in this. And I come into the day and I go straight to my current clients. This is what's crazy. Eric White is on my sales team. He's on here tonight. And one day he said to me, coach, my pipeline's kind of, kind of dried up. I don't know. I don't have enough people. I don't know who to call. And I said, E, how many people have you sold into my coaching programs? He said, probably 800. And I said, there's 800 people for you to call today. Okay. There's 800 people you can call and say, Hey, I don't know if you know this, Cody, but we also offer this and we offer this. Hey, I don't know if you ever had your sales manager come to our boot camps before, but they're like, hey, could any of your people come to coaches, uh, uh, you know, living with the monster couples retreat? Hey, did you know we're going to be doing this? I find money in my current clients and most people don't do that. So number one, I go to my current clients and I, and I present new ideas to them. And there's so much money in your current clients, guys. My goodness. I mean, how many people have you, how much money are we losing by not going back and offering current clients something? Mm. Okay. I work with an insurance company, by the way, and they took me in a back room. I can't, I'm not going to name which company it is. And they took me in the back room and they said, coach, we developed this software. And <clears throat> this software shows every person in the state of Tennessee and what insurance they have and what insurance they need. And, and it shows the phone number and email of these people. And they said, no, coach, here's our problem. Our agents won't use this tool. <laughs> and I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, if you told me every bit of insurance that a person had and all the insurance they needed, like Cody has got life insurance, but he don't have car insurance. Or he's got car, but he don't have life. Or he's got this, but he don't have this. And you gave me Cody's phone number and Cody's email I'm going to call Cody and say, hey, Cody, this is Coach Burke, right? So good to talk to you, man. I've noticed as I'm looking at your stuff today, but you, you know, that, that you're a little shy on a few of these things. Let me tell you why this is important, man, right? And I would work through that. They couldn't get their insurance agents to pick up the phone and call people. And the same agents would say, I'm having a slow month. I'm not hitting my sales goals. And I'm like, come on, guys. So I go to my current clients, number one. Number two, I go to my past clients. And, and, and this is interesting, I'm seeing a resurgence, Cody, of people come back to me that were in my coaching programs two or three years ago, right? Then they hit a lull, they got complacent, something didn't work, and now they're coming back. I've changed my pricing structure. I've changed my product suite. Now the, all these people are coming back. So who, what would stop me from going to all the people that were in there two years ago saying, hey, I've got a new pricing structure. I got a better program. I got a perfect fit for you. That's a hit list phone call. Third group I go to are strategic partners. And this is where a lot of money is, okay? I go to strategic partners. I say, you know what? You and I should partner. Because what I'm looking for is the concept of you don't need more money. You need more people. The people have the money. New partnerships open you up to what's called new associations. New associations are all these people 
who you could have access to. Now you guys are seeing this uh, image of me in the background. That's me speaking at 10 X that put me in front of 10,000 people. We made a million dollars as a result of me speaking to 10,000 people on that stage. Now, but that ain't the most important thing. The most important thing, Scott Zip, is the is the is what it did for my brand, and what it did for my exposure, and what it did for introducing me to new people. And that's where I met Tim Story, and that's where I met this person, and that's where I met this person. That's where I met Cody Askins and Lauren Askins, and that's introduced me to thousands of more people. So the third group I go to is I go to strategic partners, and I go, hey, you and I should be doing something together. Boom. Okay. Now the fourth place I go, Patricia, is I go to direct leads and I produce about 3000 leads every 90 days through all of the events I do speaking, coaching, training, leading webinars tonight. We, you know, we had 300 people sign up for this. There's 300 more people that we could call and present an idea to. And so to me, every day when I come in, I have a hit list and I'm working that hit list. And I'm coming into the day and I'm banging on people, nudging, bumping, inviting, elbowing. Come on. Are you interested in this? Every day I have a hit list. Okay. And when I come into the day, it's new money, new money, new money, new money. Okay. Now let me tell you something funny, guys. Uh, I introduced, Cody, this will blow your mind. Then I'm going to let Cody talk some. What if I told you some of the new money that comes into me? has got nothing to do with my coaching business. All right, now let me show you something. Because I've spent a lot of time building networks with people, not long ago, a company called uh, 217 came to me and said, we're getting into the gloves, the PPP business, the COVID business. We're gonna supply gloves and people, things to hospitals and things like this. And Coach Burt, we know you know a lot of people and we would be willing to pay you for introductions to people who can help us. I said, you know what? Let me step back and think about it. Uh, and, and I said, how big of deals are we talking about? They said, coach, big deals. Okay. And I said, okay, I want to introduce you to a young guy that is the friend, is the son of a COO, a CEO that I worked with. Incredible dude. And, and this kid is young and hungry and he, and I think he could be great for you. And here's the deal. If he, if I had to make this introduction, he closes a deal. All I want is a little piece of the deal. Okay. I don't want to be greedy. I just want a little piece of the deal. So they called me last week and they said, you know what? That introduction you made for us, coach, we just closed. This is going to blow your mind. A, a $900 million deal that our commission is $71 million. And coach, because of your introduction, your 1.75% is $1.2 million. And we're going to pay you 200000 a month for six months for your $1.2 million. And I'm like, it's Christmas time. Are you kidding me? I thought it was Thanksgiving. I said, let me, let me make sure I got this right. My guy that I introduced you to helped close this big deal. He's going to make $7 million, by the way. And coach, for your introduction, you're going to make $1.2 million. Now, is that a hit list phone call? Cody, yes or no? Yeah. That's got nothing to do with my coaching business. That's got nothing to do with the real estate I own. It was simply knowing a lot of people going, you know what? I got a kid that I think could help you. Let me pick up the phone and call that kid. Let me make an introduction. We went six months with nothing, not one deal close, nothing. Then they call me one day and said, close, coach, it's, it's Christmas time. And if we get this deal closed, boom, you're going to get 1.2 million bucks. Now, I tell you that because that is a hit list phone call. Anything that will produce new money is a hit list phone call. And every day I come into the day, I am focused on where can I go to produce new revenue, folks? Where can I go to produce new revenue? Is it a deal? Is it a real estate play? Is it selling insurance? Is it selling something I own? Is it producing, right? It's every day I'm producing revenue, okay? Cody, talk to them a little bit about getting your mind ready for what your body's got to do every day. Absolutely, buddy. Man, I didn't. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Uh, this this one. Deal, man. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. Dude, that's unbelievable. How freaking awesome! It's it is Christmas time, man. That's uh. It goes through. I, I don't believe it till it's the, it's in the bank account. But but that's what they told me. Yeah, yeah. Brad Lee would say, uh, what would he say? Something about a, a little piece for my niece, you know. Just a little piece of 70 million is a nice piece. Come on now, a little sliver from my liver. You know, I don't know what all, what all the crazy stuff he says, man. He, uh, that's amazing. That's unbelievable. Uh, oh, wow. Um, so what, what I do to uh, 
jump out and have a fantastic day. I was just talking about this earlier on, a, on, a, on, our, on our new um, mentorship program that we're doing is really five things, right? I, I, and I've, I've learned some of these from coach, from, from, from studying successful people, and I have a daily power five that, that I do every single day and, and to kick off my day, right? First one is, um, because I, I want to get some wins under my belt, right? I need to have confidence. I need to get my energy going. I need to have, if I want to win my day and have a great day, I need to be sharp and win my morning, right? So I get up before 6 a.m. That's the first thing I do, which, you know, doesn't seem too hard. Um, but it's a small win, you know, it's a small win. Um, second, I'm writing down my goals every single morning. I'm staying focused on what I'm trying to accomplish today, this week, this month, the rest of 2020, et cetera. Um, coach, some of the goals I've been writing down is, is I want our companies to do a total million, a, a, a total revenue of over a hundred million. Um, I want to get 8% nation to 10,000 agents in attendance one day, just like what's behind you. And, and literally I'm sitting over to the left front row of you over there. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm writing down on one of the beach house in 2021, maybe next door to you. And then uh, a, a private jet in 2022, right? So I'm, 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 and I want to help every insurance agent in the world, right? So I'm writing down my goals, keeps me humble, keeps me focused. And, and I'm telling you guys, if you don't have a, a target, it's going to be really hard to hit something, you know, like what coach didn't tell you earlier is, is, is he did, you know, I think he said 1.3 million in, in October. Um, he wanted, he, he, he told a story at the Monster Growth System about how he um, wanted to get to $833,000 a month uh, years ago. And that story um, was unbelievable because he was able to make that a reality uh, in October, which is huge, uh, which is truly awesome. Um, and then the third thing I'm doing after goals is, is I'm, I'm training every, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm training, I'm working out, I'm, I'm getting my energy up, right? I'm, I'm, uh, um, energy's everything. I don't, I don't believe we're selling insurance or a product or a service. I really believe we're selling conviction, passion, um, enthusiasm, energy, us, right? I believe we are selling us. Uh, when everything we do, we are building rapport. We're building a relationship and, and I got to, you know, you only get one first impression. So I got to be my best self every single day, right? There's somebody on here that's probably never seen me before and they're going to think this, this kid sucks or, or maybe, you know, he's all right. Uh, and, and, you know, right. So you get one first impression every day. There's one uh, November 24th, 2020 ever, right? Mm -hmm. um, fourth thing is, is I'm uh, training um, my mind, right? I'm soaking up. I'm watching a Coach Burt video. I'm, I'm listening to one of his books. I'm reading an audio book. I'm watching a Cardone video, right? I'm I'm soaking. I'm listening to Ex Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. Like I'm 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 feeding um, my brain first thing in the morning. I'm learning and, and I'm really wanting to improve every day because I believe if we're not improving, that we are moving backwards. Uh, and then the fifth thing I'm doing um, is finishing my shower with a couple minutes of ice cold water um, that that I did uh, I did, did again this morning. And it's because they say it's good for you. That's not really the reason I'm doing it. Um, I, I do it because it wakes me up, uh, gets my energy right. And it also forces me to do something to start my day that I really don't want to do. And I'll coach a lot of insurance agents struggle with picking up the phone, man. They, they struggle with attacking like you do, you know? And, and, and I really believe that uh, a lot of people are preaching, which you don't preach it, which I love is, is that, you know, just do whatever you want. You don't have to do things you don't want to do. You know, you've done thousands of things over the years that you did not really want to do that's got you to where you are. And, and I, agents need to be doing the exact same thing. Um, sell people, business owners, et cetera, need to be doing the exact same thing, right? So that's, that's the way I attack my morning early. And then as far as um, throughout the day, we are training um, our sales team twice a day. Um, and we are doing, we're watching sales training videos. We are role playing. Mm -hmm. um, we are getting our energy up, jumping jacks, push-ups, et cetera, both sales teams at 8.30 and 1.30 every single day. You always say, um, you know, don't, don't, don't ever, um, um, you know, forget, forget, you say it differently, but forget to re-enthuse your people, right? Don't ever ignore the, 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 the you know, fact yep, to do yeah. that. Yeah. And, and so we, we do that and keep them focused and, and keep them focused on, like you say, new money, right? New revenue. Um, and then one of the things that actually landed me a, 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 a $300,000 deal, 25K a month coaching client earlier this year is one of the things that um, I learned from you that made a ton of sense, which was um, attacking your red zone mm. every single day. So I've got my salespeople keeping track of where people are at in the pipeline. And I am reaching out because, that, because like uh, we're going to talk about on the next webinar, Top Closing Secrets. I, I believe that my gift is getting people to make a decision now, getting people to take action right? Um, I trained in Dallas and I, well, I, I believe how you buy is how you sell. If you think about a lot of stuff when you buy, 
you're more likely, people are more likely to say that when you're selling, right? So I'm, I'm big on, um, I'm big on that. And, and I landed that deal because Derek Mabin on my team, who, who's, who's, who's on the call right now too, um, had someone that was close. I wasn't sure if they were serious. I kind of blew them off a little bit. He moved them a little farther along and I jumped on and they were legit, man. And, 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 and we closed a, a massive deal because of that, because we were focused on driving revenue and focusing in that red zone and getting them into the end zone. Mm. Um, one of the things you said at the monster growth system bootcamp that, that I love is um, your, you, your whole team is coming in to move the ball down the field, yep. to make sales, to help people, to drive revenue. And, and the way you pound and push, you know, and, and, and really attack every single day is, is truly amazing. Like we, we got a lot of positive reviews. Oh, by the way, we had, um, your, we released a video, your, your 8% nation speech. It's got 905 views since yesterday. And there's tons of comments and engagement. Everybody loved your post. And we named it Stop Chasing Insurance Leads and Do This Instead. It was about becoming a person of interest. And dude, getting to spend time with you, you know, about how you attack your day and all the things you do. Um, it's legit. Like he's not just saying this stuff. Like he, he really walks it, talks it and, and, and does it. And uh, I love it, man. I love it. Let's talk about, let's talk about what you just said, because I was trained for a period of time by a Marine and, and uh, I hired this guy to get me in shape several years ago. And he used to have, he used to say something to us when we showed up in the morning, he would say, you got to get your mind ready for what your body's about to do. Mm. Okay. And your body doesn't want to do it. Your feelings don't want to prospect. Your feelings don't want to pick up the phone. Your feelings don't want to get in that cold tub. Your feelings don't want to deal with the problem first thing in the morning. So attacking something is removing that consideration and not listening to your feelings and saying, look, this is what I got to do to produce revenue for the company. Now, this is an example. And then I'm going to talk about that farm club and the red zone. The, I, I'm, I'm going to, for, for Thanksgiving, I'm doing something special. I'm doing 20 business strategy sessions with people where they pay, you know, me to basically look at their business and I break their business down in a 45 minute segment. Now, you know, I don't do a lot of one-to-one -one coaching. I coach people in groups. So that is something that I don't wake up in the morning and go, you know what? I want to just look at 20 different people's businesses, but I'm going to do it this Thanksgiving because it's new. It's something fresh. It's not the same thing. And I was on with my team this morning and I said, you guys know why I would do that? And they're all like, no, 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 I don't know. And I said, because I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help this company grow. I'm willing to do things I don't want to do to help this company grow. Cause I know a person that'll give me even 700 bucks to look at their business for 30 minutes is serious about their business. Yeah. So I'll do it. What are you not willing to do that you know you need to do? So let's move into the second thing I do every day that he talked about. I have a hit list every day. So tonight I sit down and I map out my hit list for tomorrow. Remember the hit list represents new money. New money can be gotten from any one of those four areas I just gave you, right? Then I have a number of people that have indicated interest in my products or services. And we call those people the farm club. And the farm club are people that we're farming, we're cultivating, we're working. And this is why I wrote the book Million Dollar Follow-Up, okay? But if I follow the book Million Dollar Follow-Up with another book, it would be called The Red Zone Conversions. Mm. And this is what Cody was talking about is out of everybody that has indicated interest in your product or service, there is a sliver of people who are most interested. They are most on fire. They are closest to making a buying decision. They just need a bump, a nudge, an invite, a follow-up. Those people go right at the top of my, of my, of my day every day, because I go, these are the red zones. Okay. And I learned that from a football coach named Hugh freeze. Hugh freeze was better at scoring in the red zone than any other college football coach in America at one time when he was at Ole Miss. And, and so here's what I say, man, uh, I come in every day and I ask Eric white on my sales team. I'm like, who's in the red zone? Who's in the red zone? Like I'm, I'm relentless. Who's in the red zone? Who's most interested? Who can I call? Who can I elbow? Who can I nudge? Who can I get across the finish line? So I combo the red zone with what I call the level 10 opportunity. Now you mentioned um, Russell Brunson earlier, and he talks about this in his book, Expert Secrets, the level 10. Well, to me, the level 10 is Cody could come in and focus on a whole lot of things. 
tomorrow. There's all kinds of things he can focus on. 8% nation, insurance coaching, this kind of coach, that kind of partnership. Man, it's crazy. It's overwhelming. Yeah. But, but, but he's got to come in every day and go, okay, where's the new money? That's their hit list. Who are we calling on? Who's in our farm club? More importantly, what's in our red zone? And I got to close the red zone. I need to close business every single day. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Alejandro is asking, aren't those direct leads on item? Let's see. Let me see your question here real quick. Aren't those direct leads on item for the hit list? No. Uh, no. Red zone is, is beyond a lead. So think of the hit list is I'm initiating. I'm initiating and presenting an idea to you to solve a problem for you. If you say I'm interested, but you didn't close, okay, I didn't close you. Now you move off the hit list to the farm club. So you're one step closer to closing. But out of those people that are one step closer, there's a subset of those people that are absolutely probably eights on a scale of one to 10. And, and they could represent the biggest opportunity for you. So I classify these. And if you notice, I got a codify for everything. I classify blue gills or blue marlins. Blue gills, small deals. Blue marlins, big deals. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm going, okay, where's my new money? Okay. I'm calling Cody for a new partnership. Let's do a webinar tonight. Let's produce 300 more leads. Those are all hit list leads, by the way. If I called every single person on this webinar tonight and I said, what are you trying to do? Alejandro, what are you trying to do? Okay. Boom. Okay. Let me tell you how I can help you. If he says I'm interested, but I'm not ready coach. Then he goes to my farm club. Then I'm going to work that deal seven touches. Okay, but he says, man, I'm making a decision on Wednesday, on Wednesday of this week, day before Thanksgiving. He's in my red zone. Some deals are in your red zone and some deals are just interested. So I always ask this question on a scale of one to 10, man, how serious are you? How serious are you about doing this? Is this a blue gill or a blue marlin? Are you in or are you out? Are you interested or kind of interested? And when I call people, I say, look, uh, my team put me on the phone with you because they said you were serious and I only work with serious people. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, how serious are you? And people tell me, they're like, I'm at a seven, I'm at a four, I'm at a nine. And I'm like, great, it sounds like you're in the red zone. Now, it's probably one thing holding you back from doing this, right? And if I could help you like I've helped all these other people, what would stop you from moving forward with me right now? If you had to do it right now, would you do it? Right? Cody's great at closing. If you had to do it right now, would you do it? Yeah. Okay, Bradley would say, if it were free, would you do it? Right? And, then they, and they're going to say yes, and well, somewhere between where you are and, where, and free, we got a deal. Now, here's my point. Every day I got a hit list. Don't miss this. And every day I got a farm club. Every day I got a red zone conversion. Every single day that I'm working. Now, I may take off a day here and there, maybe Thanksgiving. Every now and then I take a day off on a weekend. But for, when I'm working, I'm, I'm working at hit list and farm. Tomorrow morning, I'll get up and I'll work my hit list and I work my farm club every day. All right, Cody, let's go to you, and then we'll come back. We'll talk about the top 25 in the showcase. I love it, buddy. Let's do it. Um, I, I wanted to jump into something just to give a little, 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 little taste of um, – uh, I asked my sales team recently, I said, hey, what, what's the number one thing that you hear from salespeople that they struggle with the most? And, and the number one said thing that they said to me before closing was actually objections, mm. right? And, and I, I wanted to talk – uh, I, I want to talk about two layers that have to do with excuses right now. Um, I really believe for, for you guys watching to get what you want in 2021 for, for 2021 to be the best year you've ever had. I believe that you got to stop making excuses because nobody cares. And a lot of people are used to giving them. Right. And, and if I talk about something that's getting in the way of me getting it done, then I'm starting to believe maybe it won't get it then Maybe I won't get it done. Right. So stop making excuses. Also, Stop listening to excuses because I really believe that like, you know, I don't have any money. I'm not interested. I, I, I you know, I already own it. Right. I, I, et cetera, et cetera. I'm busy. I don't have time is, is, is human nature. It's like, it's like normal people to say no. And I don't know, but instead um, I really believe the only real objections are when we actually get down to, to the close, to the end of the appointment to actually get ready to do business with us. Because I don't believe people, homeless people have money, right? I, I don't believe people are, um, they say they're not interested and all coaches said is, Hey, this is coach Bert. Like he hasn't said anything yet. Right. It, they already own it. Perfect. That's what you sell. Right. Um, so when it comes to objections, I really believe that if, if, if salespeople will, will persist, will 
stop listening and, and making those objections real and stop listening to them, stop validating them, push through, persist, just be agreeable and continue that we'll get a lot farther in the sales cycle than we think. Mm. Well, when you think about it, I, here, here's what I think, man. When a, the reason a person is not moving forward, if you study, I like studying words, and, and, and fear is an emotion. It's an unpleasant emotion created by a belief that something's going to harm me. So what am I afraid of? I'm not buying the insurance because I'm, I'm afraid I can't reproduce the money. Uh, I'm not buying the insurance because I don't have a, a high a, a degree of certainty. I'm not buying the insurance because I think it's a nice to have versus a must have. Like I'm not moving forward with you because so, so you start, you start asking what overcomes fear? Well, certainty overcomes fear. Information overcomes fear, right? Like, like, like confidence overcomes fear. Like it's like light overtaking darkness. Okay. So when I look at something like, like when I get people in my farm club and in my red zone, they want to do it, man. Mm -hmm. they're in the red zone for a reason they've indicated there's indicators that says look i'm interested i want to do this man i'm scared I'm, I'm afraid cody i'm afraid if i spend the money to come to your conference i won't get that money back i'm afraid that i'll be away from home i'm afraid i'm going to get sick i'm afraid of whatever i have to overcome that fear so when you get in my red zone i know you want to do it it's just a matter of helping you have enough confidence the word decide means to kill off the word decision means to cut away so when you're in the red zone, what I'm doing is I'm helping you kill off your fear, kill off your insecurity, kill off your doubt. And I may say, man, we're, we're focused on the wrong number here. If, if you're scared to spend, if you're scared to invest $97, we don't need to even talk about $977,000. Cause we ain't going to get the 977,000. If you're afraid that you can't reproduce $97, right? And, and if you can't reproduce $97 based on what I'm teaching you tonight, all you need is one concept folks. It's like a book. If you buy a book for $30, but the book has a million dollar idea in there, is it worth $30 or a million dollars, right? So, so every day, Cody, I come into the day, I do a very similar thing you do. I'm, I'm not doing the cool, cool plunge yet, but maybe you could talk me into it. And I come into the day, man, typically from nine to 11, that, that's a new money generation cycle for me. I don't like mixing activities together. So if you're out there and you're guilty of doing selling and strategy and servicing and accounting, I don't like doing that. If you, if you look at Neapolitan ice cream, it's chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. It's clearly delineated. You don't mix it. So what I like doing is I say, look, from nine to 11, it's nothing but new money. And new money, I don't want any distractions. I don't want anybody looking at each other, flirting with each other, joking with each other. I want your head down producing new money from nine to 11 every day. Now, who are we going to call during that period? Okay. Uh, we're calling our hit list and we're calling our farm club. We're calling our hit list and we're calling our farm club and we're hitting our red zone conversions. Now, let me give you two more things I'm doing every day during this period is I'm working my biggest relationships and we're going to call that our top 25. And in our top 25, these are 25 influencers. These are people who can help you. They can introduce you to new people, new associations. And you need to spend time loving on these people, right? Following up with these people, reaching out to these people, right? And now let me give an example. I did an event last week with Sharon Lecter and Tim Story. And, you know, I got this publishing division where we help people write their books and I said to Sharon Lecter, yeah, you sold, you know, 40 million books. You and I should do a publishing retreat together. And she's like, I'm in. I'm like, okay, we're coming to Scottsdale. We're doing a publishing retreat, right? Look at how fast that happened. Had an idea, went to one of my big strategic partners, said we should do this together. Boom. Now we're doing, it. put it on the schedule. Let's go. How much time do you spend adding value to, to your circle of influence? of people who can open doors for you, mm. who can spend time with you, right? L look at Cody. Cody was a regular insurance dude, right? Yep. Raised by an insurance father. Mm -hmm. Then he said, I want to be this person of interest and I'm going to get to know Cardone and Ray Lewis and Coach Burt and, and all these people and Tim Story and, right, and Marshall Silver and Jordan Belfort. And I, man, I, next thing I'm going to know, I'm going to know all these people. Yeah. And, and here's the deal. What happens is each one of those people kind of rub off on you. 
just a little bit. And he learns a little bit from this one and this one and this one. Now, the best thing I could tell Cody is, is you need to stay involved with all those people. Spend time with all those people. Follow up with all those people. Keep in the flow of all those people's lives because those people have gone down the road and can open doors for you like you can't imagine. So a percentage of my day is nothing but kind of loving on my, my big time people. Like this morning, this afternoon, I was on the phone with CEOs of companies that can help me. I was this morning, I was talking to another CEO of a $5 billion company. I'm, I'm spending time with, you know, different people helping them advance their ball down the field. Cause I know they will help me advance my ball down the field. Now, if you're thinking just like an insurance person, I wake up, sell insurance, I set cold call people. I got a list of leads. And that's the only way I'm thinking. You're not thinking big enough. That is a percentage of your day. Every day I'm selling insurance. But you also need to be going, who's the most successful person in town? How do I follow up with so-and-so? How do I get in a room with that dude? How do I get to know that woman? Like that's the top 25. It is 25 influencers that you kind of get to know and bring into your fold. Okay. If I win Tim's story over and Tim story gets a television show and he brings me on that television show and I get seen by 2 million people that changes my whole life, man. It changes my whole career, but, but I had to know Tim's story to get on the TV show. So, so I had to add value to his life and I had to bring something to him. So I spent a percentage of my mornings with big time people calling, texting, loving on video, man, I'm thinking about you, man, I care about you. I'm worried about you. How can I help you? That's what I call my top 25. All right. And the fourth thing I do every day, Cody, is I'm always planning events. And we call that the showcase strategy. And you say, well, how do I use that if I'm in the insurance business or, or whatever business is? I don't care if you have an event for four people, a dinner. Like I was telling my wife, Natalie, I'm like, we should we should do something in Nashville for some of our top people in December. Just an intimate dinner, have some wine, some dinner. Like I'm having Randy Hauser at my lodge in Tennessee. That's just a night to have fun, man. It's not a coaching night. I actually told people, don't talk to me about coaching that night. I actually just want to have fun that night. Okay. So, so my point is, but, but listen, when I get 50 people at my lodge, we have a great vocalist. We have a good time. It opens doors in associations like you can't imagine. When you go to 8% and you do the VIP event, and you connect with people and then you hang out and then you go to lunch together and then you do this, that is showcase events. So I'm always planning something in the future to push people to Justin Stark webinars. Okay. Summits, events, masterminds, like, 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 listen, I could bring Cody and his wife, Lauren down here to my house in Florida, get Bradley and his wife down here, get Tim story here, get Tim Grover here. We just hang out with each other and learn from each other. We don't have to make money, like direct money, but I guarantee you we will make money as a result of those partnerships because we're going to walk out of there with ideas and we're going to go, okay, hey, still that 8%, let's bring it down to the 1% and let's put those people in a room and then let's go to Mexico and then let's go to Scottsdale and then let's go to Dallas and then let's go to Vegas together. Then the next thing you know, the world's moving, folks, and good things happen to people that are moving. So those are the four things I'm doing every day. Hit list, farm club, subset of red zone, right? Top 25, loving all my big people, planning events. Mm -hmm. And every day, a minimum of two hours a day, that's what I'm doing. I don't care where I am in the world. There is no excuse. If Cody asked me to speak at 8% Nation, at some point during that day when I'm speaking there, even though I'm in front of people, I'm still going to make phone calls, follow up, work my system. And that's really the power of having a system. Yes. It's good. It's real good. Alejandro says, so, so, so one hit list, two farm club, three top 25, four plan events, daily prospecting strategy. Correct. Two hours a day, Alejandro. Yep. And, and tackle the red zones first, man. Yep. Sometimes the red zones are things I don't want to tackle. Sometimes it's a customer issue I don't want to deal with. And I'm, and I'm like, man, I'm dealing with it right now. First thing in the morning. I'm, I'm moving. I'm, I'm Listen, an object at rest stays at rest unless acted on by an outside force. An object in motion will stay in motion unless slowed down by an outside force. So to me, movement, energy, 
circulation. Money doesn't, uh, uh, money's as paper, it's just energy. The people who create the most energy make the most money. The people who are the most static uh, create the least amount of money, folks. Money's just paper circulating in the world. It's of no value unless it's used, utilized. So energy is money. Yes, it does. So when you're thinking about it, you know, here's what, here, when you're getting, when I'm, I have a question for you. When you're getting your sales team up and going in the morning, number one, you're trying to create energy. Boom, trying to create energy. You get them doing jumping jacks, push ups, all those things. When they go straight from there, they go straight to what? Prospecting for X number of hours? Yes. Yes. And they're working, a, are they working a sales system like this or a prospecting system similar to this? Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. So, so yeah, the first, first couple hours we're going after new money. Um, and then the afternoon, right, we've got our hit list. We've got our farm club. Uh, we've got red zone. They're, they're sending me red zone um, conversions throughout the day as well. That's right. And, and going from like, okay, my energy's up. I'm focused. I'm ready. I'm jacked up into actually making calls. Um, you mentioned certainty earlier. They are going to be more certain on the phone. You know, like that's what I love about you is, is, is the mindset that you have to go in and attack a day, right? It, it is a mindset. It's, it's, I'm choosing to get a lot accomplished today. And there's a lot of us that can do better at walking in to our office, our house, whatever, like waking up and saying, I am choosing to attack today. I'm not going to make excuses, right? I'm not going to stand around the coffee pot and complain with other salespeople or real estate agents or whatever, right? I'm choosing to have the right mindset. I'm choosing to win today. I'm choosing to attack. And that energy um, is everything. So when you think about this, what we're talking about tonight, guys, is part of a bigger system. And, you know, if you're out there and you're asking yourself these questions, man, I know I got another gear. I know I want to activate my prey drive. I know I want to have the biggest months I've ever had. I know I want to play at a higher frequency. I, or I want my team to play at a higher frequency. Okay. Or maybe you, you're the in, insurance leader, but your team's operating at a level four and you're a level 10 person. Uh, tonight, what we're going to show you is Cody and I have partnered to do uh, something he and I've never done together, which is a virtual summit. Yeah. And on December the 11th, uh, we're going to be doing a strategic selling made simple, simplified virtual summit, full day summit, that we're going to be offering folks. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically be breaking this down. And what I want to show you is when you, when you think about this and you're thinking about playing at the highest levels, basically what we've done is we've created a virtual summit that he and I are going to spend a full day coaching people on. It's December the 11th. It's a sales summit. It's Cody and I all day long. I'm going to focus on selling the prospecting system, the explanation of service, the selling system, and the follow-up. Cody is going to focus on closing and how you close at the highest frequency. Because if you're out there and you're watching us tonight and you're going, you know, this is good, man. Imagine getting a full day of us breaking this down and really playing at the highest level. So here's what we're going to tackle that day. How to attack and play offense versus defense how to create leads. I only gave you four strategies tonight, folks. I have 12 to 15 that I use in my selling system. I'm going to show you the difference between high value and low value. We're going to teach you how to overcome objection, how to identify your top four customer getting strategies, how to build ridiculous uh, strategic partners. And we're going to spend the full day with you on December the 11th. This, this is my last event uh, that I'm doing, public event in 20. 20. Okay. And so uh, this was even on my schedule. Cody was at my lodge a few weeks ago and he said, uh, we were just talking about the future and I was telling him about this piece. And I was like, man, you and I need to do a virtual summit. I just finished doing a virtual summit. It was a big hit. I had 300 people on there. My goal is to get 500 people on this virtual summit, virtual summit to spend a full day breaking down the sales cycle like a freak of nature. Yes. I'm talking like, like to the ridiculous level. Okay. We want to reduce it to the ridiculous. So it's called strategic selling simplified. It's going to be on December the 11th. Okay. And it's real simple guys. We made it simple. It's under a hundred bucks. It's under a hundred bucks. So I don't know how to, I don't know the last time you got a full day of coaching for 97 bucks from, from two dudes that, that are doing it. 
Uh, but um, I just told him, man, I really like working with you. I, I like your energy. I, I feel like a big brother to you, or I don't know, maybe even a dad. I don't know how old I am compared to him, but 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 big I've, brother. We'll go with we'll go with big brother, uncle maybe. But I but I do feel like I do feel like he Cody and I make a very very strong tag team, and he brings a lot of closing experience in the insurance space. I've coached some of the top insurance people in the world, and I mean the big boys and big girls. I mean some of the people I've coached are making three million, four million a year, uh, and 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 they're using this system that I'm going to coach you to. So if you're on here tonight and you want to take advantage of the full day boot camp, tonight's the first night that we've released it. We haven't put it out to the public. Our goal is uh, to get 500 people on this uh, full day virtual summit with us, but Cody will go an hour. I'll go an hour, Cody, me, and then we'll wrap it up Q and a, we ain't even got time for lunch today, folks, pack your lunch and be ready to go. Okay. Cause this is right. going to be like Donkey Kong. Well, I, and I and I just saw you um, at at the boot camp and 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 the full like several day experience of what you're going to go through on the selling system, right? And what you're going to teach. And I'm telling you, I can guarantee you between between coaches, full selling system, and with specifically the strategies that I use to close at the highest level, you will leave with actionable, tangible steps for you to make 2021 your best year ever. Right. And I'll, I'll even go out on a limb and say, you know what? Um, if, if, if it is, if it is not the best birch virtual event you've ever been to for under a hundred dollars, I'll personally give you your money back. Cause I can promise you it is impossible. When you spend a day with us on December 11th, you will leave saying, Holy freak. That was ridiculous. I got my money's worth in the first seven minutes, but I got a whole day for 97 bucks. And I now have actionable steps to actually go and attack my day from a selling standpoint, from a selling mindset standpoint for all of the rest of 2020 and 2021. And, and I'm telling you, I've, I've seen, I've seen the stuff coach is going to teach. Um, and, and his alone is, is worth about, uh, you know, 9,770 bucks. So uh, make sure you, I, I want to see you guys there. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I know, I know that you, I know that you paid 1500 to 2000 bucks for you, for you and just a couple of your team members to go through it. Yep. So, you know, for people to get this for 97 bucks, it's kind of an end of year special for us. We want to go out on a bang, but we want to take selling and break it down. I love this because, man, I just love playing offense versus defense. And I love, uh, you know, I've worked a decade to build this selling system. And, um, you know, we're going to go. So, yes, when, it, when we're looking at the session, the strategic selling, uh, the virtual boot camp, you know, we're going to go as long as we can go that day. Okay. I mean, we're going to go and I don't know if it tells them there how long it is, Cody, but, but I don't even know how long it is. I just know it's, a, I just know it's going to be a bunch. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just agree to do all day with you. So we'll, we'll see how long it's going to be. I don't even know if it tells how long it's going to be on here folks, but I guarantee you that you will get your money's worth out of this when we go do it. Okay. Oh, at nine to noon. Right. And I tell you what, Cody, I, you and I probably go much longer than that. There's no doubt. A every time I've done something with you, you have always over delivered and went longer than what you said you were going to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can cut it off in that, in that, in that short in time here. So what I want to do is, you know, if you're there and you're, you want to take action out, I just want to encourage you guys. Yeah. I really want to encourage you sitting out there. I guarantee you're going to replicate that money over and over and over and over again. And we will over deliver for you. I'll break the system down. Cody will break his closing down. Selling and closing. Money changes hands when problems are solved. And if you wake up every day and work the system that we're going to teach you, I promise you, you will make uh, more money. You're going to have a better life. You're going to build deeper relationships. And who knows, man, you may, you may find a gear that you haven't found that you've been looking for for a long time. Right. That day can activate your prey drive. Yeah. That day can flip the switch in you. That day can make it happen. So, Joseph, thank you. The virtual, the virtual day in October was awesome. Thank you for that. This will be more of the same, man. I'm going to get deeper, though. What I learned by the virtual summit I did, Cody, in uh, October was I went wide that day. I, I, I taught a lot of things that day. And my team, when we were doing the, the debrief on it, they're like, man, you unpack so many things. Coach, come in there and hit them, hit them with one part of the system. Hit them, hit them with right. Hit them with the the, the, the selling system. Don't hit them with everything, because it was a little overwhelming. And what I want to do that day on uh, this strategic selling simplified 
is I'm going to make it real simple and I'll show you exactly what I did to, to, to produce the 1.3 million in revenue in October. Okay. And build the kind of momentum we had. And a lot of it has to do, man, with getting a person to make a decision. And that's really what you're a master at is teaching people how to take action. The questions you ask, the rhythm, the tempo, the overcoming objection, the certainty, and that's, that can be taught in people. So if you're out there watching, man, I really want to encourage you take advantage of this 97 bucks. If you miss it, by the way, if you miss it and you can't take action, we will record it. We'll send everybody the recording. This will be a, a private event only for the people who register that day. And it will be uh, a, a, an incredible day to spend time with us. No doubt about it. Cody, give them a challenge, man. If they're out there and they're watching, hundred people are still on here. How many of you guys are interested in this? John Hart, thank you. If you're interested, are you taking action, guys? Justin Stark. Here we go. Doug Peacock. Talk to him today, man. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Signed up right away. Look at all these people jumping in. Going in, Kelly. Kelly Eisler, you don't need to worry about that. You, you, you. Strategic, strategic selling is presenting ideas to people. Sean, Judy, come on, Judy. Let's move from interested to committed. Let's go. Phil, Ch Phil Cheney, get the card. Don't miss this. Great stuff. Just bought it. Very interested. Somebody had asked me while we're looking at all the people that are committing tonight. I don't know why you wouldn't commit, folks. 97 bucks to spend three hours with us. Let's, let's do this. I promise you. First 15 minutes worth $97. What do you think? Look, look at my – look. there's old Jorge. Jorge's on, my, on our Facebook tonight, man. Love that. Love my man, Jorge. Jorge. Now, so, so here's the deal. Um, here's what I would tell you. Somebody asked about prey drive, and they said they're new to, new to the equation. Prey drive is an instinctual ability to see something with the eyes or in the mind and have the, the persistence and intensity to pursue it. It's really what I'm writing a book on called Flip the Switch, and I'm breaking prey drive down into – three components and five activators. Probably the, it's, it's really kind of my life's work, just to be honest with you. And um, I think a good coach should activate and reactivate your prey drive. Okay. Like Sean Staker saying, man, uh, that's what a good coach should do. But once your prey drive is activated, Cody, you got to know what to do. It's not like, it's like getting all jacked up on energy. <laughs> but you don't know what to say, or you don't know what to do. And that's really where the selling system comes in. It's like, now I know who to call how to work a system, how to follow up, how to close a deal. This is part of a bigger system. Okay. And so feel, you know, if you're out there and you get excited and that's, you know, that's not your problem. The problem is I don't have a structure and Cody. Um, what I found is in life, we need structures. You know, I lost 30 pounds because I had a structure. Yes. Okay. And I, before I didn't have a structure, I'm trying to count calories. I'm trying to put it all together. Then I had a structure. Once I had a structure, it worked. Once I had a selling structure, it worked. Once I had a over, a common objection structure, it worked. Once I had, right. What I needed was a structure and that's really what we're going to provide for you. And that's what a good coach should do. Frank, Rebecca, we'll be recording. Yes. Uh, we'll be recorded. So if you miss it, some of you are in the, in a, in a, in a big part of your business. I get it, man. Yeah. But go back and watch the replay uh, for less than a hundred bucks, man. I promise you, you'll make all your money back and, and a whole lot more. Yeah. I really, really do believe that. So I'm telling you this. I see Judge Graham just joined us. What's up, Judge Graham over on Facebook? We attract the celebrities when we do these things. Come man. on now. Come on. Man. Judge, we're talking about the selling system uh, for the folks that are out there. Look at there. We got F45 folks in there. That's right. Okay. I was making, listen, I was making hit list phone calls for F45 today. Selling folks into selling folks into the to the gym. It's just pick up the phone and initiate, folks. That's the deal. Initiate, disarm, locate a problem, offer a compelling solution to people. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about on this. So look at all these people, Cody. They're committing tonight. Strategic selling simplified. December 11. Very few. Most people are going to shut it down before december they're shutting it down on thanksgiving let me tell you something they ain't no shutting it down here folks we're gonna push until they ring the bell yes and when they ring the bell we're gonna get up and keep going for another round <laughs> so if you're out there on facebook watching us tonight we posted we're doing a, a, a virtual summit on december the 11th cody askins and i call strategic selling simplified yes. we're gonna take something complicated we're gonna break it down make it simple like that neapolitan ice cream don't you like that one I like that. We don't mix ice cream together. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. We don't mix selling and servicing and selling and accounting 
and selling in this, okay? Judy, have you signed up yet? Can we sign up already? Sure you can, right there it is, Judy. Absolutely. Just get on there and sign up and let's get rolling. Here, here, here's what crosses my mind when I sign up for something like this, right? Because, and, and I want one nugget to take away, right? I want to focus and take away one nugget. Now I can guarantee you, Coach and I, for an entire day, you're going to take away a lot more than one nugget. However, if one nugget shifts and makes a massive change in your business for all of 2021, it was worth well more than 97 bucks, right? So when, when you are on there for you know, December 11th, because everybody on here is going to, be, going to be a part of that event because it's a complete no-brainer and you need to be, right? Focus on, okay, what problem do I want to solve? What nugget am I going to take away when I focus, show up, take notes, listen, learn? And then how am I going to make sure that that has a drastic increase in my business for all of next year. And I can promise you, some of us need a little, little, a little, uh, little motivation, right? A little launch, a little kickstart uh, for, for, for jumping into the new year. This is it, man. This is it. Yeah. And, and here's the deal. I've been a period right now and I would tell, you know, uh, I would tell all the people that are on here. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, uh, John Rouse, Kevin Jones, uh, Justin Colvin. Thank you for that. Thank I'm you. in a period right now doing a forensic analysis on my business. And what I'm doing is I'm breaking down what's working, what's not working. Listen, some of your sales strategies need to go, folks. They're not working. Some of your lead generation systems are not working. Some of your marketing is not working. Some of your closing technique is not working. Some of your, you know, some of your, some of it's not working. And, uh, and so it's time, this is the perfect time, November, December, to, to break it down, Michael Schaefer, and, and say, man, this has got to go. I'm, this is out the door, okay? I, I'm no longer doing something that's not working. Kevin Jones asked, as my company grows and you either outsource or hire in-house, do I teach my salespeople to create a top 25? That's a great question. I'm working with a, a lot of mortgage companies right now as well. And I was on the phone today with some of the executives. And the reason we need these things in place is because we need something that's replicatable. We need to know how to activate prey drive. We need to know how to explain our services. We need a prospecting system. We need to understand red zone conversions. We need to understand how to mine those acres of diamonds that Judge talks about. Yes. We need to know how to become people of interest. This needs to be standardized across the board, folks. You need a seven touch follow-up. You need, you need like these are, these to me are basics of, of the business structure to, to expand. What if you had a hundred sales reps? And, and they had a hundred different ways that they explain their services and a hundred different ways they follow up. Like, so, so what I was telling the company today is, man, we need to put this in, in 2021. So we have standardization. We have something that's replicatable and the selling system that I teach is duplicatable. It's replicatable. And if you have one or you have a hundred, you need this kind of structure. Okay. Think of a good coach is helping you find and feel your missing structures. Mm. You don't even know what your missing structures are until the coach brings the structure and says, Hey man, you're losing money in your follow-up. You're losing money in how you articulate your products and service. You're losing money in how you close people. You're losing money because nobody knows who you are. You're losing money in one of these areas. Okay. And, and that's what a good coach should do. So Cody, we're going to give him one more shot, man. I'm on here tonight. Okay, I'm on here tonight. Dedication should have been one of your program prospect now and getting in front of more student athletes. This should be a collegiate deal. That's good. I love that. If you could start them early, if you could start them early, man, get them in early. If I learned how to sell when I was 20, 21, 22, 25 years old, man, there's no telling. Uh, I had a 21 year old calling me last week, came to see me at the new greatness factory, and he was impressive. He figured out how to get in touch with me get on my schedule, show up for the meeting, look like somebody, ask good questions. And then I try to get him in the coaching program and he balked. I'm like, come on, man. You know, if you're serious, take action, man. Commit. Yeah. You want me to coach you? Okay. You got to get going. You, you yeah. got to, you got to get going on this. So, all right, guys, last chance to get in. Cody and I have done 72 uh, webinars today and we'll keep going folks. Redwood is signed up. That's it. Keep going. Thanks, I want to keep going all night. Like I'll just keep coaching from now to December the 11th. If that's what y'all want me to do. There we go. There we go. Okay. So tonight what we're offering, if you just joined, cause a lot of people are hitting us on Facebook, Cody Askins and I have partnered to do a, a, a virtual summit on December the 11th. And that virtual summit, we will tackle 
strategic selling and we'll make it simple. I'm going to focus on the prospect and he's going to focus on the closing, but it will be an incredible uh, time with us. It's under a hundred bucks. It's 97 bucks. We want you to be there. We want you to finish your year strong. So Cody, give him one more good push, big guy. Cl close four or five more people. One, one, there we go. Come on now. It's, 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 it's time to move, man. Like coach says, Hey, once you commit, we won't let you fail. Uh, uh, there, there's a few things that I can promise you. I can guarantee you. There's a few things that I'm going to go over on December 11th that majority of you never heard before. Mm -hmm. You're not currently doing. And I can promise you it can make you an extra 50 grand in 2021 because a lot of us get in front of people. You know, we're decent with the sales process, but when it gets down to getting someone to take action now, like I have the exact words for when someone says, I want to think about it. I want you to call me back how to shut that deal down. Right. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you all the phrases, all, everything I've got, all the tips, tricks, secrets, et cetera, on December 11th so that we can turn you into, you got this, you've got the selling system, the structure, right. With coach. And, and then you pair it with, I've got them to the end. Time kills all deals. I know I need to get them to buy now. How do I do that? And, and, and I promise you, you will not leave December 11th questioning how to close deals in 2021. And majority of it, because I asked my sales team, I said, what's the, what's the second thing agents struggle with? They said closing. They do not know how to get people to pull the trigger and move. As of December 12th, for those that take action, that will no longer be a problem. That I can promise you. Yeah, that, that's 100% right. The word, the word close, just so everybody knows, means to bring two things together. It means to bring something to an end. There's something out there that's just floating around. And, and what Cody's going to teach you that day is how to bring it to an end. Mm -hmm. How to get a person to say, I'm in. Okay, let's do it right now. Let's sign up right now. I'm No more excuses. We're taking action. I'm going to show you how to get in front of more people. He's going to show you how to close people. I'm going to show you how to get in front of prospects. He's going to show you how to close prospects. So we just posted the links, Facebook group and on here. If you want to join us that day, we'd love to have you. Listen, you can reproduce that money. Uh, if you think you can't, I'm telling you, I'm here. I remember when I didn't have $97 to give, give people. And I borrowed 2,500 bucks from my own mother to go to a summit when I was 25 years old to learn the seven habits of highly effective people. I paid my mom back in increments of $50 a month, folks. And that one workshop has helped me to produce millions of dollars of revenue. Learning those seven habits, mastering those seven habits changed my life. I didn't even have the 97, but I didn't have it. That was 2,500 and I didn't even have it. Went to my mom. I borrowed the money. I invested the money in the workshop. Tim Story talks about living out of your, sur living out of your sacrifice to live out of your surplus. Sometimes you got to live out of your sacrifice. To, to eventually live out of your surplus. And that is really what I did at 25 years old. And, and that changed everything for me. It really, really changed everything for me. So if you ask me what happened, boom, 25 years old, borrow money from my own mama. And that's sad to do, man. Having to go to your mom at 25 going, I ain't got enough money to go to this workshop. Will you help me? And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, basically uh, changed my life. So we're asking you for $97 spend time with us. We believe it can be game changing and life changing. So Cody, great job tonight as always. Okay. Uh, I appreciate you. you guys who you guys are rock stars, man. I'm telling you people have showed up tonight. The comments were incredible. This is the second webinar, actually about the fifth webinar I've done today. So you guys gave me energy uh, tonight here at the end of the day. And man, I love coaching people that just bring it right back to you, Cody. Yep. Right. They just bring it right back to you. So thank you guys. God bless you. You're amazing. Cody, look forward to working with you, man. You're always a world-class dude. And, um, and, and this is going to be incredible. So God bless you guys. Have a great night tonight from Seaside, Florida, Springfield, Missouri. Boom. Okay. Boom. 8% nation coming to you. Here we go. L love you, coach. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank love you. Appreciate you, you guys being on. Thank you. You guys have a great night. God bless you. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one. You're going to love it. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. So you brand first, then you market then you distribute. And I didn't really understand this. I just thought if I became a great coach, people would just come running, right? What if I told you it doesn't matter how good you are if nobody knows it? How many of you think you're the best kept secret in the world?